Yo, what is up guys for today? I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Now, this is the second video of basically me showing you my Guardians for the Season of Dawn. And this is basically how my Titan looks right now. But if you would tell me, Tony, what's the definitive look of your Titan for Season of Dawn? It would actually not be this. It'd be different. Let me show you guys real quick. It would actually be this. Yeah. Either this one or this one. I've been, like, putting those two on and off a lot but unfortunately it's a little bright a lot fucking brighter that's why i usually don't use this one that's why i use this one a lot i like this too but this is the one i used a lot during this season helm of saint 14 is one of my favorite helmets from destiny 1 and 2 so obviously i would be wearing it, it gives you a bonus to your bubble your health and it makes enemies blind which is not as impressive as it was in destiny 1 but still good helmet but uh, my titan has changed looks so much especially since now that i have all the whatever this is called the the battle pass armor it's just changed my look on like how my titan can look so like for example you guys saw her like uh different helmet you guys saw her like this personally i would love it if i could wear something like maybe this right here I think this would look cool, but unfortunately I have the the mark and the helmet that counteract each other since they're from the same armor set, which means I can't wear them. But that's why I was wearing something like maybe like either like this with this or I was thinking about this, but then it clips right here a little bit. So then what was I wearing with this? Oh, this one. So yeah. I I love and hate Titans a lot. Uh, I think a lot of their their armor looks cool, but unfortunately, Titans have kind of the worst armor schemes in the game. Not like design-wise. I think some of them are look really cool, but I mean like this right here does not change color. Let me show you real quick what does not change color, and it's like something that's always pissed me off. So this one. This one, I think that's it for now. So unfortunately, there's a lot of yellow. Like I said, this one from the gold, it's like almost all the armor from this armor set, which really sucks because this is one of my favorite helmets or frame favorite armor sets. The Escalation Protocol armor, yellow wire, don't like that. The, the mark specifically, the purple feathers do not change color. The Vanguard insignia does not change color. Like it's, it's quite, it's really unfortunate that the Titans suffer this because, in my opinion, a lot of their armors is really fucking awesome. Especially when you come to like st stuff like this. Like when it comes to this, I don't really mind because it's supposed to be gold, which is fine. I don't care. But stuff like this kind of just pisses me off. And I'm not talking about the gold scheme, like the whatever. It's supposed to look gold. I'll. I'm, I'm fine with that. What does piss me off is the fact that the gold kind of starts flaking. It has that type of thing. So if you guys notice right here, you'll, you guys will actually notice it right here with this chest piece. Not that one. This one. You guys can see it's like all like flickering and shit. And unfortunately, it doesn't get better if I change it. And see, it's it's bad. It sucks too, because when I first saw this armor, I thought it looked amazing until I saw this. This completely ruins it for me. It's just, it's, it's unfortunate. It really is. So that's my only complaint about armor for the Titans is the fact that you can't change a lot of the color schemes because gold, gold, purple, orange, especially like with this one, this one's probably the worst offender. This right here never changes colors, the orange right there. And this is one of my favorite chet or arms in the game right now for Titans. And you can't change the color of that. See? It's un really unfortunate. I think it's one of the coolest armors or arms in the game. But yeah. But if you would ask me like how I would look, the this one would be the one the one I showed you guys. Don't get me wrong, I love I love this game, I love the armor, it's just that 
when you can't change this yellow, it kind of really limits you, especially if you like how, like, especially when you get to the point where you're like getting to customizing your guardian, how they look. Because for me, I love to look, have my guardians look really cool. So when I have stuff that limit me, it kind of pisses me off because at this point I have to wear something that's purple and yellow. And fortunately enough, this orange is enough that this yellow doesn't look like outside of that. It looks fine in my opinion, but whatever. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of exotics with the Titan. I have a one-eyed mask, obviously. Insurmountable skull for amazing helmet. Helmet Saint 14, like you guys saw. Ursa Furiosa, I still think this uh, these arms are still awesome because you can fuck with your enemy pvp wise it's it's an amazing arm it's they're amazing arms is what i'm trying to say if you're fighting a whole team or one guy pop your super put your shield up and if they notice that you have the earth furiosas on at that point they're dead if you sh if they shoot you they give you energy if they don't just kill them it's for me it's one of the most amazing arms in the game i think they're a lot better than Shards of Galanor because Ursa Furiosa does more than just give you your energy back. You can do the whole mental fight where do you shoot me or do you want do I kill you? Stuff like that. So Ursa Furiosa is one of my favorite exotics for the Titans. Doom Fang Pauldrons, awesome, very good. I think it's it's too good sometimes, but I'm not asking for a nerf. They're amazing as they are. No, no chess piece exotics, but I do have the Mark 44 stand sides, which I think are amazing. Obviously, Dune Marchers, my favorite Titan exotic. Phoenix Cradle, which I actually do use in PvE a lot, and that's pretty much it. For weapons, I actually use the Lonesome a lot. This is a, this is going to be really weird for a lot of people, but the Lonesome, especially the curated role, is fire. Oh my god, especially for Titans. For, okay, so like to give you an example, like the loadout that I use for PvP specifically would be the armor set that you guys saw not too long ago. This one right here. This is the PvP setup that I have. It's not built towards anything. If anything, I'll probably look that up later, but getting these legs were annoying as, enough as is, so. Not only that, the armor changes that are coming up, I can actually change everything now, so that's awesome. But, with... The Sentinel Bottom Tree, I remember correctly. Yep, Bottom Tree gives you the Shield Bash. With Doom ba Doomfang Pauldrons, if you kill someone with your melee ability, it gives you more energy or super energy. Plus, Lonesome has Swashbuckler with Overflow. So hit someone, immediately proc Overflow, or immediately proc Swashbuckler, you're having fun. It's, it's so much fun. Like, sidearms are a lot of fun this season, and I'm happy as hell about it. Waking Vigil, I think, is an amazing hand cannon and people are sleeping on it. Last Hope with Rangefinder and Tap the Trigger, which I think is just weird as fuck, but I love it anyways. I think I have a range. Yeah, I do. I have a range uh, masterwork on it as well. Like I said, awesome. Awesome. I just can't. Awesome. Uh, Soul Survival with Field Prep and Firing Line. I really wish I ended up getting Rapid Hit with Firing Line, but one day I will probably. Hopefully not. Or hopefully, I mean. Uh, Nong and Hunger for the Demolitionist role that I have on that. Again, Bug Out Bag with Swashbuckler. I'm telling you guys, Swashbuckler on a Titan is just like, it's cake, bro. It's so fun. Retail Tail with the Slice Shot and Field Prep. And Claws of the Wolf and another Claws of the Wolf. I actually got another full uh, Love and Death with almost the exact same roles, if not the exact same roles, of the one that I have on my Hunter, which is really weird. And then Komodo, which is garbage. It's not that garbage, but it's just whatever, honestly. Doomsday, which I still kind of want to get a, a roll with full court just to see how that goes. And then my exotics, obviously. And like I said before, my hunt, my Titan is actually Cabal themed. So Drop Pod Shell, which is one of my favorite shells in the game. It looks fucking awesome. This one is not... So, unfortunately, we never had we've never had a cabal inspired uh, sparrow. Well, we have one this season, but we didn't have one before. But you did get this from a cabal strike, which is why I did this because I was like, if I can't get one anywhere, then I'm gonna get the one that's closest to it, which is this one, obviously. 
And then you can get the ship, the Cabal ship, which I think is fucking awesome. And that's pretty much it. I have a... That's a lot of Fractal on it. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like I said in the previous video, if you guys have any questions regarding my Titan, comment down below. I'll try my best to answer each and every question you guys may have. But actually, let me show you the shader before I leave. It is the Imperial Dress, which is the shader from Crown of Sorrow, the raid. And other than that, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like my Titan, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any other questions, like I keep saying, comment down below. I will be more than happy to share all the things that I can about my Titan, Hunter, Warlock, whoever you ask for. And other than that, I will see you guys later.